study this praxis and I want to talk about a few things in this video starting with uh, these uh, vent windows up here. They're all done in terms of having the foam all covered up. They've got some nice little trim uh, work up there. I'll just float you up there so you can kind of see it. Uh, you can see we've got these, uh, these trim pieces that go all around the edge and then there is the, uh, uh, the little you know, 8 inch boards that go in there. You know, came out fine. Uh, the last step in there is putting in the louver inserts, which we're going to be actually uh, starting to build uh, during this video. I already got a lot of that uh, material kind of pre-cut because remember I was uh, trying to cut those 8 inch pieces out of scrap from other things. So I already pre-cut a lot of the louver material and we're just going to be ripping it on the table saw. So we're going to do that in a little bit. Before we leave here, I want to talk about a couple of things. One, uh, the radon vent here has been working great. You can see the pressure differential between atmospheric pressure and the... Uh, uh, you know, the suction in here, there's definitely, uh, you know, a suction being created. And, uh, you know, since we started this, uh, using this remediation tool, uh, the radon, which had been not okay in the house, has come down and has been totally fine. So this has been working. When we installed this, we needed to, ins uh, to cut a hole, a five inch hole, uh, down in the foundation over here. This goes down here, kind of snakes along the wall, and right underneath the door, uh, we stuck a straw in and that's where we sucked the radon out. I got to cut a couple of more holes and that's what I want to talk about in this video. That hole over there cost me $250 to get cut. Um, you know, it's a fair bit of money, but it's, you know, tool rental. It's like half a day's work for the guys to come out and do it. Uh, I tried to uh, get them to come back and do a couple more holes. I need one hole here and one hole, uh, what's on the other side of this is the pantry. Uh, on the other side uh, over there, there's going to be another hole and those are for the air exchanger. Uh, if you guys recall, there's that air intake uh, up over by the, uh, the root cellar over here. One uh, uh, tube goes down into the root cellar and the other tube is going to uh, go into our air exchanger here. Uh, so air comes in from the filter, underground, passes into uh, the, the pantry, into the air exchanger, and then there's going to be a hole here for it to get exhausted into the greenhouse. In the wintertime, it's going to be warm, humid air coming in here. Might as well you know, get some extra advantage out of it. The chickens will benefit from it, and you know, we'll just be able to keep this room a little bit warmer uh, as we're venting the waste heat and waste air from the house out into here. So anyway, I got a price quote uh, to get this done. I figured it'd be more than $250 because it's two holes instead of one, but you know, not that much more. Uh, well, the, the new price quote is $600 to do the two holes over here, which I think is just, um, it's, it's absurd because, uh, you know, you can get one for 250 and now, uh, you know, it's a couple of year, years later and I think people are taking advantage of the fact that people have just gotten used to everything's more expensive now. So you can take, uh, take something like this and, uh, you know, almost triple the price of the thing. So, um, I was going to just take the, the punch and, uh, and pay it anyway because, you know, I really want to get the air exchanger in. Uh, last winter, you know, we were always having to open a window to get fresh air in and, you know, I want to get this thing in. But uh, I was talking to the people and not only is it going to be uh, $600 to get the two holes in, but also be, uh, because of the way they like to do things, they're going to need me to cut back like uh, almost 25 square feet of wall here cutting off all of the foam, ripping off all the wire lath and the, uh, the stucco and everything. I, I figured I was going to have to open up a little bit in order to bolt the, uh, uh, the core driller onto the wall. I remember from last time that's how they do it. They kind of uh, mount it almost like a drill press to the wall. Uh, but these guys need such an enormous amount of area. I mean, enormous, enormous area. Um, that it became apparent to me that the amount of effort, the amount of work it would take for me to prep the site and then clean up everything because I'd have to cut everything away and then I'd have to reinstall everything and repatch it and restucco and re lath and everything. It would be more work for me to hire someone to do it than it would be to just do it myself <laughs> um, because the people are just not very flexible. They can't just, you know, make a hole without making a huge mess. Um, so I looked into it and I can buy the tools that I need for about $300. So $300. I'll have the tools that I need to make as many holes as I want. And it's just the inefficiency of the way a lot of stuff is being priced today where it just, you can't justify it. It's like the, the solar panels on the roof. They were quoting me $140,000 to put solar panels on the roof that I knew darn well I could put up myself for like, like $15,000. Um, you know, so like 10 times the cost. You know, people deserve to be paid for their labor, but I guess... Americans are just so inept and um, don't understand that you can do a lot of the stuff yourself that contractors and businesses take advantage of that and they are, uh, you know, just making prices crazy.